transform an old kitchen countertop without removing it. We'll show you how to make a big impact without a big investment. Here are the materials and tools you will need. 220 grit sandpaper, sanding block, painter's tape, nine inch paint roller, nine inch foam roller cover, paint tray, primer for glossy surfaces, water-based acrylic paint for countertops, high gloss acrylic top coat paint, mineral spirits for cleaning up, latex gloves, high quality trim brush. Laminate countertops can be primed and painted to quickly transform a kitchen's aesthetic. Your local paint store will be able to supply you with the best type of paint to use in this project. Many recommend a water-based acrylic primer, paint, and top coat, as they provide the hard surface needed for heavy use areas like countertops. Water-based acrylic paint cleans up with water. It's a good idea to sand any surface before you paint. Use an extra fine grit sandpaper to remove any rough spots on your counter and backsplash. An electric sander will make this job go much faster. Once the entire area is smooth, pour some mineral spirits onto a lint-free cotton rag and wipe the countertop. Make sure that the entire area is totally smooth and free of dust. Allow the mineral spirits to dry and run your hands over the surface to make sure that it is smooth and clean. Now that the countertop is prepped for painting, you will want to protect everything that is not going to be primed and painted. Use painter's tape to protect the sink and walls. Make sure that your tape has fully adhered to the surface and there's no chance of paint slipping under. You may want to protect your walls, floors, or cabinets by covering them with plastic or newsprint. Once your surface is fully prepared, turn on a kitchen fan or open a window. A smooth laminate countertop requires an acrylic primer intended for glossy surfaces. Make sure that your primer and paint are well mixed. It's a good idea to have more roller covers than you think you will need. Purchase more than enough and you can return to the store what you don't use. For smooth surfaces like countertops, a foam roller cover is recommended. This ensures that the paint goes on smoothly. While priming and painting countertops, it is important to keep a wet edge to your paint application. Do not stop this project in the middle and allow the area just painted or primed to dry. Overlap your newest roller strokes an inch or so over the previous strokes. Apply an even coat of primer covering the entire surface with full roller strokes from front to back. Keeping a wet edge is very important to the final look of your painted countertop. As you approach the area around the sink or the small backsplash surface, be ready to use a quality trim brush to cover the surface as your wet paint edge encounters it. Move from one edge of the counter to the other, covering the entire area with primer as you go. Allow your primer to dry for at least six hours. Applying the paint is the same process as the primer. Keep a wet edge of paint as you move from one side of the counter to the other. Do not allow the painted edge to dry before rolling on the next bit of paint. Overlap your paint rolls about an inch. Allow your paint to dry for at least four hours. Then apply a second coat using the same technique. Once the final coat of paint has dried, you will want to apply a final high gloss top coat to give your counter a bit of shine and protection. Use a water-based acrylic top coat intended for use on countertops. Roll on the top coat using the previous technique, keeping a wet edge. Once the entire surface is coated and has dried for four hours, you should apply a second coat. Two applications of top coat should be sufficient to create a beautiful and protected countertop surface. Wait 24 hours after the final top coat application before using your countertops. Full cure time for a water-based acrylic top coat is around 14 days. Use your countertops gently during this period. You've completely transformed your countertops without even breaking a sweat or your pocketbook.